Super Showdown. Excited for that. So we got our predictions here. here for Super Showdown. It was announced today. Today. That on the pre-show. Now, these guys will be doing double duty because they've already been announced for the Battle Royal. The Usos will be going one-on-one -on -one with the Revival. The yep. Revival's going to win. You think? Sure. No. Are they... <laughs> Do you think the good old American boys are going to win on, on, on foreign soil? They're all American, technically. Right, but like gim gimmick-wise, the Revival are like, good old blue boys. You know what I mean? I think this. I don't think that matters. Okay, well, I, I, I've got Revival picking up that win. I'm going to go Usos. Yeah? Yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter who wins. I'm sure it'll I be I mean, it great. doesn't, but... Here's a great thing. I'm glad that the kickoff match is actually a match I'll enjoy. Because, I mean, thinking... No, never mind. I was going to no, try no. to use logic, but that probably wouldn't work anyways. Logic isn't... I don't think we can... Well, no, it, we... it, it could have worked, but it wouldn't work in this situation. I was just going to say that the Revival and McIntyre won on Monday. So... Or did they not? Who won the sixth man on Monday? I can't even remember anymore. There's so much bullshit in WWE. It's bold of you to assume that I watch Raw. Never mind. I'm going Usos, though. I'm pretty sure the revival picked up the win. What was the it was revival in McIntyre? Oh, didn't Shane come on top with a spear? Well, that was after the match, where they laid out uh, Roman. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So going mind. forward, this one's probably predictable. It's a handicap match. Lose a house party taking Lose. on a Lars a Sullivan. I've got the big Sully man. Same here, Lars, the freak, Lars Sullivan. Yeah, the freak. He sure is a f***ing freak. Going forward. We've got the monster among men, Bobby. No, Braun Strowman. <laughs> Bobby Strowman and and Braun Lashley. We got the monster among men, Braun Strowman, taking on the almighty Bobby Lashley. I'm going Strowman. Yeah, I think Strowman's got it. It. it do you think he comes out with a green belt? <laughs> no. You think they still have that thing? Yeah, dude. Oh, I bet he locked it somewhere at the warehouse. No one knows where. No, nah, I bet you Strowman has it. Doubt it. Well, you're an f***ing idiot then. Going forward. Okay. Chocolate we got a match that better be quick because Shane Shane was already bloated and swole just cutting promos on Monday and Tuesday. It's Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon, and Shane was winded just from cutting promos and walking to the ring on Monday and Tuesday. I feel that though. I feel that, dude. Walking <laughs> walking's hard. Hey, we walked a lot in Vegas and we were fine. I was also stoned out of my mind half the time. Eh. Um, I'm going Roman. Yeah, I'm going Roman as well. I'm going, well, no. I'm going Shane. Oh, Daniel Price's Braun won the, the whole thing on Monday. But so then, Lashley, no. let, does he, does Lashley take the, Lash, the Lashley study? stood tall in the end when he power slammed Braun. Give the, give the big stinky boy his title back. So I'm going Shane actually. Yeah? Because Shane's going to have McIntyre in his corner. At least that's what we're assuming. Cause that's the way they were playing it up. And... That'll set up for stomping rounds? Well, at stomping rounds, it's going to be Roman versus McIntyre. WWE yeah. hasn't officially put that out on their website yet. They're still only advertising the SmackDown Live women's match. But both McIntyre and Roman said they want the match on Monday. So that match is going on. And then, also, we're getting... We don't know if we're getting it for sure, but it is advertised at Extreme Rules. Shane and McIntyre versus Roman in a handicap match. So I don't know if maybe... McIntyre helps Shane win at Super Showdown, <laughs> screws Roman. Hot. Shane then helps McIntyre win at Stomping Ground, and then Roman goes, you know what? I don't want just somebody on the outside. I want you both at the same time so I can beat both your asses. I don't like Roman. And then Roman wins the handicap match where, yeah, he couldn't win when the, you know, it was a singles match, but the odds were still stacked, but he beat them both. And that may, you know makes Roman a big whatever. So I'm going Shane actually. Neat. You still got Roman? I still got Roman. I'm sure Roman overcomes the odds. So with the Intercontinental Championship on the line, the Demon. They made a point to tell us it's the Demon, Finn Balor, boy. defending against Andrade. It's got to be the Demon, right? Um, I'm gonna go with the Demon, though I wouldn't. I I wouldn't mind if either guy won. You know what would be the dumbest thing, but I could see them doing it? Hmm. <laughs> Finn wins as the demon. 
Then we go to Stomping Grounds, and Andrade's like, I want to match with the real Finn Balor for the title, and then he wins the title at Stomping Grounds or something. I would like that if it led to a storyline of maybe, like, Finn kind of turning heel a little bit and, like, struggling to, like, keep the demon out, and is he, like, is he the full demon, or is he, like, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Right. They, They could really build up that story. Would you have faith in that? I wouldn't. No, God, no. It makes too much sense. Like, that's <laughs> too cool of a plan. So going forward with the WWE Championship on the line, Kofi Kingston defending against Dolph Ziggler. And Kofi made a good point. I, I'm make, Give me your prediction really fast. I'm going Kofi. Kofi, absolutely. So Kofi made a good point on Tuesday that really leads me to believe that he's winning this match. He said when Dolph won the IC title for the first time, he beat Kofi. When he won the U.S. title for the first time, he beat Kofi. So you think, I don't think he beats Kofi again to win the WWE Championship for the first time. It would be an interesting story where he can say, I won all my biggest championships against Kofi Kingston, but I don't don't think they do it. I don't think they do it either. So going forward with the Universal Championship on the line, Seth Rollins, who... We don't know his condition right now after the beatdown from Brock. Defending against Baron Corbin. And the way they were talking on Monday made me think that maybe he doesn't even do the match because he's so injured. Uh, Then they... Okay. So what I assume ends up happening, right, Mm -hmm. is that they don't do the match. And then... Do you mean don't do the match? Or Seth Rollins... Because I'm trying to think of how this ends up being Brock and and um, Lesnar for the title. Brock and Lesnar? He's going to fight himself? Yeah, he's just going to f***ing... Bre- I'm f***ing stone, Tim, all right? Leave me alone. I meant Baron Corbin and Brock Lesnar. You can't put two guys with the same letter in their f***ing first name expect me to be some kind of genius here. <laughs> Listen, man, I only work here, man. So, you know, if the match does happen, I think Seth retains. I don't think he gets beat by Corbin. I think it's going to be the whole, if the match happens, he's going to be all taped up, and he's going to defy the odds and beat Baron Corbin, even though he's hurt and can barely go. Here's what I got. Give it to me. I got him not being able to compete. Lesnar is still cashing in, cashing in his money in the bank against Corbin. But because Corbin still has that match. So then if that well, match can't happen, Seth Rollins would lose by default and lose the title. Not necessarily. Yeah, if he's injured, he he'd have title? to. You have to. Isn't it? But we don't you know how to... long he'll be out of action. Maybe he's just too hurt to travel overseas or something. But then he's going to be good enough to be on Raw next week or something to give a update on his condition. I guess. I was yeah. thinking that, but I was thinking that. I think I said it on the Monday review that I can see this match somehow ending up Corbin Brock in like a number one contendership thing, and then Brock wins, becomes number one contender, and then gets the match without having to cash in. Tim, I'm not gonna lie. What? Don't tell anyone, but I think I just realized why you said that he's too injured to fly overseas. Why? Because if he's not overseas, Brock can't cash in, and I just realized that. I don't know. A lot of people coming off of Monday, though, think that he can cash in on Kofi, which he can, but why? He, yeah, he could, but what would it do other than just, like, put him on completely, SmackDown? Com- no, not even that, because God knows he won't go to SmackDown. He'll stay on Raw, and it would just leave SmackDown without a <laughs> Brock Lesnar doesn't work Tuesdays. Oh, my God. You know what I'd love storyline-wise, which I know they would never do this, but I if they did I something. Gonna, I think I know what you're going to say. Go for if it. They, if they did something like a Brock cashes in on Kofi. Keeps a belt but never goes to SmackDown. So all like the heels and the faces have to band together to start invading episodes of Raw. Wild card uh, rule, baby. The wild, the f- go f- yourself rule, more like it. So three of any superstar. <laughs> moving off of that match, we've got in a match that's centered that. around Triple H's balls. Triple H versus Randy Orton. Hey, Corey said something real quick. He said, "Corey, uh, he says it gets Brock on SmackDown for the Fox deal." Hmm. I know he started on SmackDown, but I'm saying he would never show up now. Dude struggles to show up twice a month. Mm, Think he's going to show I, up twice a week? Hey, Brock's been here three weeks in a row. Four shows in a row, if you technically count Money in the Bank. That's 
extremely true. But, I mean, Fox has kind of stopped advertising him, though. They advertised him two weeks, saying that Brock Lesnar on Fox and this and that. And they've stopped advertising Brock. They've also uh, pulled John Cena from the advertisements as well, I think. F. And I know, yeah, they pulled John Cena and put, because uh, they just have the graphics. They don't really say names anymore. Because before they were saying Brock Lesnar and Charlotte Flair, and they were saying names, but now they're not. They just have the graphic. It's like the SmackDown intro video, and then it's got, it had Cena, but now it's got Roman, um, Charlotte, and I can't remember who the other two are. It's probably someone. I have no idea because I don't watch like television, so well, they, I don't. They, ever they see plug it during NASCAR. Mostly, it's funny yeah. though. It's funny though because they plug it more during like the NASCAR pre-show than the actual race itself. Jeez. But who do you got, Randy Orton or Triple H? Uh, I've got. Why don't you give it to Orton? Give Orton like a cool win. I can see Orton winning it. Yeah, why not, dude? Then we've got for the first time ever, The Undertaker versus Goldberg. I don't. I, dude, I'm not going to lie. I think I would rather watch paint dry in a 100-degree heat than, like, watch this match. I think it's going to go no longer than four minutes. Dude, it better not go longer than two minutes. I mean, it can go five minutes. It can be sub-five minutes, like four and a half, like the Brock-Goldberg Mania match. The, the, the good Mania match, not Mania 20. I've got Taker. You got Taker? I got Goldberg. <laughs> Nicholas says Randy Orton wins by shaking Triple H's hand furiously. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Taker. Why Finally, not? who do you got winning this battle royal? I got okay. I couldn't narrow it down one, so I've got a couple names for you. Uh oh. Apollo Cruz. Wait, 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 wait. First, do you what? think there's do you think there's any stakes, or is it just hey, I won the battle royal? Who cares? Um, they can get like a f- U.S. title shot. Okay, go for it. You got Paulo Cruz. Paulo Cruz, EC3. Otis. Otis, that's Otis. that's a that's or, a far out there deal. Take back Otis, Biggie. Is he cleared? I know he's there. He was on the plane with Natty and them because he was sitting behind Natty in her well, videos. I'm, I'm, well, I'm sure he would have gone regardless. Cuz I don't know if he's cleared to wrestle yet. Pretty sure he is. I don't know because they did the. Because um. Did, did he not get? I thought he got physical in the ring. No, he didn't. They did the whole. We didn't see him get attacked, but we assume it's Kevin Owens attack laying uh, taking him out backstage. Hmm. They did I the. They s- did the whole thing where they found him attacked. He quote unquote re injured his knee. And, and they made us believe that it was Kevin Owens. But we never saw who attacked him. Oh, okay, I got you. Because that, that was the whole thing with Xavier went with Biggie to the hospital. They took him in the – I don't know if it was an ambulance or not. They took him, and then Kofi had to go out and wrestle by himself. Uh, and then that's when um, he was attacked by – I think it's when he was attacked by Ziggler the first time. So, as far as my prediction for the Battle Royal, I have no clue who's going to win this. And I, I honestly don't think it's going to be done to elevate anybody or push anybody or give anybody anything. So, I'm just going to throw a name out there and I'm going to say, um, who's on this roster? Um, I don't even Sunil know. Sunil Singh. No. I don't even know. Ali? Um, Ali? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if... Lars wins against Lucha Hash Party and then wins the Battle Royal as well. They're giving him that monster. This is our next big, just beast of a guy. What I about Ali? Mm. Mm. No, I I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I can really see Lars doing the double duty, winning against Lucha Hash Party and winning the Battle Royal for them to be like, man, this guy didn't only work a match earlier then. He beat 50 guys or 49 other guys in a battle royal as well. This guy's a freak, and he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I don't think anyone's going to think that. Everyone just thinks he's racist. <laughs> eh, people change. That was almost a decade ago. Actually, so probably who, was around a decade ago. People so who change. you got? 
Who are you saying? Lars? I'm just going to go out on a limb and say Lars. I don't even I'm gonna know if that... I'm going to say, like, EC3. I've got him winning it. I, don't, I can see it. You know what makes me laugh? Uh, jokes, comedy. When you, look at the post, when you look at the poster... At... When you look at the poster for this show, and you've got Goldberg with a nice, young, brown beard, and then he comes out on SmackDown last night, all full gray. Goldberg's... Goldberg cut a hell of a promo last night. That's a statement I never thought I'd hear in 2019. That was a great promo by Goldberg. I'm going to say that right now. That's a bold assumption there, Tim. What no, makes you say that? I really liked it. Because, you know you know why it was a good promo by Goldberg? No, why? You, are you going to tell me? Yeah, because he's not scripted. That's true. He, he, was, uh, he was around that time. Goldberg is allowed oh, to go out there on SmackDown last night. They told him how much time he's got. They told him what he was going to do with The Undertaker popping up. He cut a promo that was better than any other promo we've seen in the last month in WWE. And that's because he came up with it on his own. He was told his talking points, I assume, because it was all based off of what The Undertaker said the night before. But he just went out there and said what he wanted to say. And it was great. And more guys need to be given that kind of a... Uh, I don't want to use the word freedom, but leniency to say more of what they want to say and not what they're told to say. And that's, again, video that's up right now for members. We get into that. Yeah, you guys should definitely go be a member because you can get cool <laughs> like that video and more videos pretty soon. That's what you should do. So that is our predictions for this Friday's WWE Super Showdown. I will be doing a review uh, are you going to join me for the review Friday night? Uh, Friday night. If not, that's fine. Probably not. I think I'm working. Not a problem. I'll be doing the review Friday night, roughly around the same time as we normally go live here, like 8, 80, 30. So if you say 30, does that mean like 9 o'clock actually? No, that'll be fine. <laughs> no. No, the reason I was late today, my son's sick, and I had to go run and get uh. him some stuff. Yeah, get him, get him some PD light and all that because he can't hold anything down. So we're trying to figure out what he can have and – hold down and this and that so i had to go run out and get to that like you know last minute kind of deal i got you man so 